doing Becky's Extreme Patio Makeover. Cute, really fancy title cards here. So I feel like it's taken forever for summer to finally get here, and now that it's here, it's patio season. In Canada, we treasure patio season like it's nobody's business. I personally love hanging out outside during the summer days or even on a cool summer night. Since we've moved, we haven't really had a summer here yet, so I haven't really done anything to this patio space that we have, and I think it has really cool potential. I want to turn it into like a bohemian, tropical, chilled out, tiny bit Moroccan inspired, maybe. Just a really cool patio space to hang out in. This is what it looks like now. Really, there's nothing too exciting going on. There is this interesting Grecian inspired pedestal thing that was left from the previous owner. I don't really know. Not my vibe. I think we're gonna get rid of it. And besides that, there's the barbecue, which is obviously staying. The mini fridge, which is ours, and that's gonna stay because that's really handy to have. And so far, as far as furniture, we have this bench here that Austin made. It's really beautiful. I think it will stay but we really need to find stuff that's gonna work with it and accent this space. So I know I will need to buy some new things for this project, but I'm hoping I can use a lot of things I already have and do it somewhat on a dime. So the two things I know I for sure wanna do in this space is a patio couch type deal made of pallets because I can get those for free from Austin's work. Thank you very much. And I know I wanna do some sort of translucent curtain effect around the whole thing because Sometimes in the nights it can get buggy or mosquito-y and that's a good way to keep them out. Plus it will just look really cool. Oh, and also I have lights for my wedding still that I do want to hang up. I think I'm just going to go for it, start it and see what happens and I'll bring you guys along in the journey. First off, I did go to Ikea and pick up a ton of items for this makeover. You guys know I love Ikea. <laughs> As you guys know, their stuff is really affordable or some of it is like these curtains that were $4 for two of them. Spend a little, get a lot, <laughs> get it? Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna open them up right now and get them hanging and see how big they are. I think I got enough. I'm hoping I got enough. So that's what I'll do first and then we'll also do the lighting as well. To hang these curtains, I'm gonna use these white sea hooks. I'm just gonna screw them into the top wood patio. And because the curtains are like mesh, I'm just gonna hook them over the sea hooks. It'll be so easy. Don't have to worry about curtain rods or any of that. <laughs> Why is this bench so unsturdy? Hold on, I need to fix it. curtains are done and look how cute already this made like the hugest difference so next I'm gonna do the string lights and basically the same way with sea hooks and then just string them across the uh, roof here Ooh. I'll definitely have to come back and film this at night because then these will look much more impressive but pretty good so far now we can go ahead with styling and bringing in the couch This is the base of the L-shaped couch made of six pallets. And now we just put some nice patio cushions on them and no one's the wiser. This coffee table came from HomeSense and it was like the third one that I looked at getting seriously. I saw this one at the thrift store and it had the most gorgeous mid-century modern legs and it was like a nice teak color and it was only like $30, but I think it would be too square and too big for this space. Hello. The space definitely needed something round. And then I went to One Home Sense and all they had was really small ones and they were cute, but I'm thinking like actually using this going forward, we're gonna want something bigger. So then I found this guy and excuse me, Danny. Danny, Danny, move. Danny, away. Okay, fine, you can come. And then I found this one and I love it, okay. Who remembers this DIY? <laughs> I made it for the old house and then it was downstairs, but I think Actually, it makes the most sense up here and I realize it matches so perfectly. If you don't know what this is, it's the Hanging Night Sand tutorial. I will link it below as well. Go check that out. Really easy to do and so cute. And now it doubles as patio furniture too. That's gotta be shortened a little bit, but should be good. Okay, legit, I don't know how this happened. It's like the universe was telling me that it's meant to be, but when I was in HomeSense, I found the same one and it's been months since we made that one so it's kind of like everyone was telling me make another one 
And I'm like, cool, I can do that. All right, makeover is almost complete, but it wouldn't be a Sorry Girls video if we didn't have plants in here somewhere. So, cue the plants. turned out I think it's such a transformation it's the most zen chill like I've never been to Bali but I want to say Bali-esque vibes and this is how it looks at the nighttime equally chill equally cool I think this makeover went amazing and it only really took me half a day besides time to go buy all this stuff I had a really fun time doing it let me know your thoughts below if there's any more mini space makeovers you'd like to see us do please let me know where that would be or what that would be below as well thanks so much for watching this and we'll see you next week bye <laughs>